Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we'll continue talking about text mining, and uh, specifically, we will talk about uh, document semantic analysis. So, what is document semantic analysis? Uh, it gives us different benefits. The first one, it explores uh, document content quickly and efficiently, compare subgroups uh, to the main group, keyword extraction, uh, what are the documents talking about, and it, it explores documents map. Let us, let us go into a simple example using Orange Data Mining. We're going to use Corpus and we're going to use a Grim uh, Tail Selected uh, that comes with Orange Data Mining. I, the title is title and uh, I will uh, remove this uh, back and I'm going to use content. So we're going to focus on the content of the documents. Content of the documents. So this is the first thing. Of course, you can connect this to uh, Corpus Viewer to view the uh, documents. So we have, uh, as you know, 44 documents. Uh, we have two groups, uh, Tales of Magic and uh, uh, Animal Tales, uh, Animal Tales groups, okay? And we need to do some uh, operations on this Corpus now. The first thing I'm gonna use is the pretext, uh, be process text, be process text. So I used uh, very simple things uh, just for this example, and I'm gonna use stop words uh, English, and I'm gonna upload the stop words that I used um, in many examples, and it's available in um, uh, get the GitHub uh, link that is in uh, the video description. So this is the first thing. Second thing I'm gonna use word bags, word uh, bags of words, bag of words. This is the bag of words. And from here, I'm gonna use two things. First, I'm gonna connect to TSNE. Uh, this is the TSNE. Now it's it's, it's working. Uh, it will finish uh, pretty quickly. Also, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna connect to um, extract keywords. Okay. So this is done. As you can see, these are the documents. And from here, you can see um, how the BCA worked under the TSNE. Uh, it uh, has two uh, categories, Animal Tales and Tales of Magic. And as you can see, there are some interference between these documents. So I can, for example, uh, select these documents. I can select it, okay. And uh, these are the extract words from the selected documents. These are the extract words from these documents. I'm gonna connect this to um, score documents widget. So words to words, I'm gonna put it words to words, and I'm gonna give uh, and feed the score documents with the corpus. Okay, so corpus to corpus. Okay, and from here we have selected a few documents, and then we extracted the words. We can click on, for example, the word horse. Okay, uh, this is the TF IDF for the word horse. And you can get from here the similarity documents and the word presence and the word count. For example, the first one has 10 words uh, from horse and the second one has 14 words of horse. So we can click the first one if you wish and we can explore. I'm going to go and connect to Corvus Viewer. And uh, we have 10 words in this document. Let's just check it out. Of course, in the content, not in the abstract. In the content so I'm gonna count the content so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 and 10 these are the words uh, counts which are right and and so we have 10 the word is there it's uh, word presence is there yes and similarity is 0 0.574 uh, the same thing for the second document etc and also we can connect to TSN TSNE after we do the scoring Okay, so we can select, for example, a few documents from here. Okay, I have selected these documents, and you can see uh, based on these similarities, the uh, TSNE based on the BCAs that it will count uh, for. So let's just wait a bit. It's now done. So these are the documents uh, with the same similarities. Uh, okay, so. As you can see, it's straightforward. You can um, uh, do some very nice things if you have a data set and you wanted to have some, you know, uh, finding some words, some uh, similarities 
uh, between documents using TSNE and extract words. You can uh, do also document scoring, as you can see. And of course, you can apply this um, in uh, different documents. Also, you can use import documents if you want. Uh, the same thing, instead of corpus, you can do import documents and you can select these documents and you connect to the process text, etc., etc., and you will get the same results. So, this is the semantic analysis for um, orange data mining. I hope that you enjoyed it uh, and uh, we'll see you in our next lesson. Bye.